right, YouTube, it is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Monday afternoon. I uh, had a little, a little time off, uh, not feeling too well, getting some stuff taken care of. I hope everyone is okay. Uh, first and foremost, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Let's keep growing the Meanie Army. Uh, we are doing well. We have very active uh, Discord, so today join that discord come talk about your favorite tabletop rpgs come hang out with mr mean it'll be a lot of fun um today's video du jour is something that's near and dear to my heart um and i've recently found it again not that it was ever lost but really enjoying it and that's warhammer fantasy roleplay fourth edition by cubicle seven this is the winds of magic uh it is not officially out uh, well it's officially out in pdf you can't buy a, a hard copy you can see it's pretty decent thick uh this is the black and white pdf um it does come in full color i just printed it in black and white 220 pages of gaming goodness for all your magical needs for your Warhammer game. Now, this is a first and foremost, this is a source book for the Empire. This isn't uh, Telia, um, any of the other areas. Um, this is only Empire, the Colleges of Magic. Uh, and there is no chaos or there is no uh, demonic magic in here. So if you're looking for that stuff, uh, don't buy this book. You'll be sorely disappointed. This is mainly a player book. Uh, if one of your players is a mage, it's a GM book, obviously, uh, because there's all the different things in here. All the different colleges. I believe it's eight winds of, of magic. Um, and they are all detailed in here. Uh, decent amount of fiction that's really well written. I've read about half of it so far, a little bit more than half. I am at the... Uh, Magical items. Uh, the art is phenomenal. Um, as always, you would expect nothing less from Games Workshop and Cubicle 7, but they have done a great job uh, laying out the art. Now, mine is just a photocopy. Uh, well, it's a PDF printed on a laser printer, so the art is going to be a little bit dark. Obviously, isn't going to be as crisp as what you'll get in, the, in I assume, the full-color book. Uh, I'm just flipping through to see if I can find a decent piece of art that will show up uh, well on screen. Now, I could have done a screen and a screen or a picture and a picture and shown you the art that way, but I don't like doing that. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, I just want to see if there's some decent art uh, without... Well, you know what? I'm just going to use the page that I had turned to. Um, there's all the college, colleges of magic. Um, this is a really cool picture that really pops. And as you'll see here on the page, um, this is a, uh, a Pyromancer Advanced Scheme. Uh, that is... So you're getting new careers. And right in the beginning of the book, it tells you uh, if you're rolling in the core rule book and if you roll, you know, X, Y, Z, it equates to ABC uh, on in, in this book. So this book doesn't replace all of the uh, uh, careers in the core rule book. But what it does is it adds to them, which I think is really cool. It also uh, explains how to do. There's a, a, a better overview of casting magic and what's required and what some of the changes are and everything that was done in that. Um, I'm just going to adjust my peak here because I see that I'm peaking really hard. I just noticed it. Okay, hopefully that sounds a little bit better. Um, there's an overcast table, uh, repelling the winds, critical channeling, uh, interruptions, uh, malignant influences, which there's some cool stuff in here. So uh, this will, uh, new arcane spells, uh, they give you a bunch of new spells, and then there's all the uh, spells from each college. Um, and what happens if you use Corrupt way, uh, Warpstone and Waystone and Conjuration of Jack Cinders. I mean, there's just all kinds of really neat stuff so the new careers um so you've got one two uh three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten new careers broken down to apothecary, wizard, mystic, and guard. Um, and these careers, um, there's guard and beetle, which aren't necessarily spellcasting careers, but they are interwoven with the colleges of magic. So you could be a guard. If you rolled a guard career, you could choose this career, and you could be a guard at one of the colleges of magic, which would be kind of cool from a role-playing point of view. So new careers uh, gives you basically information on randomly generating your new careers. Um, and then what it does is like each... Each new career will give you their scheme, uh, which you can see right here uh, for the beetle, uh, for your you know your your level one, level two, level three, level four, and what you get for all your advances and all the gear, all the gear and everything that you will need. Um, tons of new spells, tons of clarified spells. Uh, witch hunter was not in here, which I guess the witch hunter in. The core rule book is more than enough to uh, to go off of. So I thought that was pretty funny. I have just noticed that they are mowing outside. Uh, the house next door to me has been renovated for the last two years. And I guess they're getting in the final stages of it. And they are, uh, they are getting it prepped for, I guess, move in or whatever. But the guy's been working on it for two years. But neither here nor there. Um, there is... Uh, so each, each little mini chapter is devoted to one of the colleges or one of the colors of the magic. And what's nice about that is it gives you a little bit of fiction um, and it gives you an NPC, a prominent NPC for that uh, college of magic or that field of study like a beetle or um, uh, I forgot what the other one was called. Uh, so uh, just all kinds of neat stuff. Um, yeah, here we go. We got Raphael o Ovino, Grand Astromancer, Gold One. So he's obviously, I think, in his uh, third career. But there you go. There's a nice little write up on him, and there's his his career, uh, his character sheet, basically. So it's basically a book full of NPCs for each of the colleges of magic. There is an extensive. Um, Magical Creatures section, which talks about all of that. Uh, there's also uh, Power Stones, which everything goes in there. Potions, Spoilage Effects. I mean, this is this has got a ton of stuff in it. Scrolls, uh, Magical Items, uh, everything you need. Um, let me get, I want to highlight that. Say. Magical Artifacts, uh, Wizard's Robes, how to make them. I believe it. I haven't gotten to this section yet. Yes, the Enchanted Staff, which is what I'm curious. I'm a little sad. I'm excited for this in the aspect that I am currently running uh, Warhammer 4th Edition, um, and I'm excited for to have this book. So as soon as they said it was available, I bought it, and then I printed it and took it to my local uh, UPS Kiko store, whatever you want to call it, and had them spiral bound it for me. But um, I'm, I'm sad because no one in my group is playing any of the wizard uh, path or any anything even remotely close. So no one seems to have any interest in it. They're all relatively new to the Warhammer universe, except for my friend Darren, a.k.a. D-Train, who is in and of himself a fantastic GM for Warhammer fantasy roleplay. Uh, but he is excited to play, and he has made a guardsman. So uh, that is pretty cool. Very excited. Uh, there's a... a uh, uh, all types of uh, the effects of magic in the world. There's even um, the Vault of the ne Necromancer, which is an adventure in here. Uh, so a little bit of uh, of just information on all the different uh, stuff that's going on with Winds of Magic. This is this is a hell of a buy. A lot of bang for your buck. Uh, I am on the Warhammer Fourth Edition. Uh, Facebook group and I will say that I've seen some negative comments or even just uh, <coughs> I don't want to say degrading but just negative comments about that it doesn't have the chaos in there or it doesn't have uh, the clerical stuff um, and just like with every other edition of Warhammer uh, th those were in separate books so why would you expect anything different in here uh, so yeah, we had winds of magic, uh, you know, and, uh, I, I don't remember what the, the healing, the, the clerical book was for the gods, the like Shalin and all that, but 
uh, Green Ronin put it out. It was it was right at the end of their tenure for owning the license, and uh, I think it only came out in a softback. I do have it. Uh, I think it's up there on the shelf. If not, it's buried in my uh, in my, one of these boxes here. But this is an immense uh, resource for your uh, Warhammer or any dark RPG where you want flavorful magic. Um, you know, in the chaos world or in, in the Games Workshop universe of the Empire, you know, it is a grim, dark uh, fantasy adventure. And there's plenty of grim, dark in here. There's information on what happens when you fumble a spell and bad things that can happen and all that fun stuff and uh you know using warp stone to to cast spells and things like that so there's there's a lot of cool stuff but it sounds like the lawnmowers are getting closer um and i don't want that background noise because it'll be horrible so um i'm going to uh end this real quick by just saying awesome resource if you don't have it and you're into warhammer at all pick it up it's well worth the, the 30 bucks i think it's 29.99 for the pdf um i did go to cubicle 7 and i bought the hardback book which gives you the pdf it's one of the things that i really enjoy about cubicle 7 i wish more companies did it um but cubicle 7 is really good about when you buy the physical book you get the pdf right now so uh they say that the uh, the core book will be released first quarter uh uh 2023 so we got a little ways to wait yet but to be honest it'll be here before you know it uh so yeah that's winds of magic that's my thoughts it is definitely a buy if you are a games uh works or i shouldn't say games work if you are a warhammer fantasy role play aficionado or you're really thinking about playing a wizard in the warhammer world then this is an excellent source book. It's also a phenomenal GM resource. Just with the sheer amount of NPCs in it, you can come up with everything. So it's uh, really well done, really thought out, laid out really well. The art is phenomenal. So definitely a buy in my book. Like I said, I bought it from Cubicle 7 directly so that I got the PDF early. I'll get the physical copy when it when it releases. So that's it for this. I just want to do a quick video uh, and you know let everybody know I'm still alive. It's been like 10 days since I posted. I wasn't feeling well. I spent Mother's Day in the hospital. So um, just trying to get back into the groove of things. Still nauseated. Not sure what's going on, but feeling a little bit better. Uh, I'm just relaxing a little bit today. Uh, kind of working from home. Uh, my boss is phenomenal. So um, I'm, I'm fortunate. I'm lucky and blessed to have such a cool job. So I hope everyone is doing well. As always, like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Sit, better yet, pound that subscribe button. Let's grow the mini army. Uh, there's links down in the doobly-doo to join the Discord. Uh, Patreon, it's $5 a month. Get you access to games I run online. Right now I'm running... Uh, I'm running a bi-weekly game. It's going to be three to four sessions of what's old is new. New. This is their sci-fi setting. And we've got, f I think, five players? Four or five players? We're very excited. Our first session is next Monday. Uh, last Monday, we had character creation. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to record it yet. We haven't decided. Uh, Foundry, the integration for Foundry VF VTT is basically just a character sheet and then all the maps and the normal stuff that foundry does but nothing particular to uh, what's old is new so i'm not quite sure i'm gonna uh use it or not we may just do everything via discord and uh, real dice so may not be worthy of recording it might be uh, a lot of the the rpgs that you see recorded you don't see their foundry setup or you don't see their you know their roll 20 setup you just see the actors uh, faces and we may do that if if i got to check with the guys and make sure everybody's okay with it and if they are we might just record that part um but other than that uh super excited uh patreon five dollars a month gets you access uh to games when i run them you get dibs every couple of months i do a giveaway for some extra stuff or stuff that i have um i think big al on my discord who's also a patreon uh he walked away with uh, all of the cult rpg stuff that i got the company had sent it to me for a review i reviewed it it wasn't really something i was interested in having in my collection he was interested in it so uh, you know, I shot a message to all my patrons and said, anybody who wants it, you know, you just pay the shipping and it's yours. And boom, 
Big Al said it. So that was uh, hopefully there'll be pictures on the Discord here real soon. Uh, so we do kinds of stuff like that all the time, giveaways. Uh, I run RPGs. We do hangouts all the time where we just uh, we get together and we talk. We're due for another one. Um, uh, that game is what I call it, and it's just uh, it's just a sit and chat where three to four of the meanies and myself sit around and we talk about that one game that's influenced influenced us in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and of course, Patreons get first dib on that, and then I branch out to the rest of the meanies, and you find out about that via Discord. So definitely a lot of stuff going on on Discord. So pop over there, help grow the community. We have a phenomenal bunch of people. Um, like I said, Patreon is phenomenal. It's five dollars a month. Get you some free stuff. I just sent out a round of stickers, uh, Mr. Mean Speaks uh, stickers that I had made up. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. So um, Patreon helps support the channel, keeps me, you know, doing this stuff and uh, upgrading my equipment. I want to get a better camera uh, and so on and so forth. So I also paint miniatures. You can see I have a Blood Bowl team back here, the uh, Nurgle Rotters. Uh, so we do a little bit of miniatures. We have a channel on our Discord dedicated to miniatures. Uh, the art is the mini, uh, as I call it. Uh, right? Yeah, the art is the mini. So, uh, yeah, definitely that. Uh, so, yeah, I think I've babbled on, guys. I hope everybody is well. Peace and hair grease. And as always, remember, be nice.